This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. Uh, today is yet another Telecaster with some uh, fancy wiring shenanigans going on. Uh, this is a vintage uh, V58JD. And if you're not aware of vintage guitars, uh, first of all, where have you been? Uh, but just in case you're not, these are budget conscious guitars uh, that punch well above their weight uh, and they're all kind of bedecked with uh, Wilkinson pickups and hardware. Uh, this guitar is uh, the Jerry Donahue signature model. Um, you know, famous uh, Telecaster user Jerry Donahue. He's had uh, several signature guitars over the years, at least one Fender uh, version of it. And I think there's a Fret King one out there as well. But this is the budget conscious one. And this is apparently uh, one of the guitars that, not this one, but this, this one in particular, but this model of guitar is one of the guitars that uh, Jerry regularly uses as a, as a workhorse instrument, I'll leave a spec to the uh, to what's going on with this guitar. Link to the spec down in the description. But I think you probably already know uh, largely what's happening here. Alder body, maple neck, two pickups, um, vintage Cluson style tuning pegs, and a pair of uh, Wilkinson single coil pickups. But it's the switching of these pickups that really uh, is the interesting thing because uh, much like that uh, modified um, Squire Bullet that we that Colin lent me the other week, uh, this it has a one, two, three, four, five uh, position selector switch. So what's going on with this? Well, at the back there, you've got, as you would expect, the Telecaster Bridge pickup. Move it forward a notch, and you've got the, um, I think it's both pickups, but with some kind of magical capacitor in circuit that um, allegedly gives us a very kind of quacky, out-of-phase Strat-style tone. Move it forward, f further forward another notch, rather, and you're into standard uh, Telecaster middle position territory, both pickups in parallel, as you would expect on a Telecaster. Move it forward another notch, you've got the neck pickup, uh, which also has, again, some kind of capacitor in circuit that allegedly gives us um, an accurate humbucker type tone. We'll find out if that works uh, very soon. And then forward another notch to the final one, and you're on the neck pickup, which, as you can see, is uh, actually more of a strat neck pickup than, or strat style neck pickup than, um, you know, the uh, the regular lipstick Telecaster neck pickup type thing. So I guess the first thing we need to do is have a listen to how this guitar sounds. Do those extra sounds do what they purport to, you know? Uh, do they live up to the hype? Well, we'll find out in just a moment. You're going to see on screen the settings I was using, uh, basically a Fender Twin model, uh, courtesy of Guitar Rig, and you'll also see which pickup uh, set setting I was on for each of the samples that you're going to hear. Here we go.
So, what do you think? Um, first off the bat, I would say a good selection of Fender Telecaster-ish kind of tones. Uh, the bridge pickup is fat and meaty, but still has that, um, you know, that Telecaster brightness. The position to the, the so-called Strat emulation for me is pretty close. Um, you know, that really does have that sort of quackiness uh, there. You could easily use that on a tune like Sultans of Swing or something like that and get the required vibe going on. Uh, the middle position, the normal standard Telecaster middle position where you've got uh, both pickups uh, in parallel for me, that just chimes and does exactly what you expect it to do. The next one, though, the humbucker emulation, for me, was a bit of a letdown. I just didn't think that sounded like a humbucker at all. It just sounded, to me, uh, like um, just a, a neck single coil pickup with the tone rolled off a little bit, which as it is, I suspect, what the capacitor that's in circuit is effectively doing. Um, when I switch to a humbucker on the, uh, the pickup selector, I expect a little bit more output and a warmer sound, and I got neither of those. In fact, it was a little bit less output. Uh, and it just it just didn't sound like a humbucker to me. I'm sure I would find a use for that tone, but if you're looking for a guitar that has, uh, you know, the best Telecaster single coil sounds and a humbucker tone in there, you might not be uh, getting what you, you think you're expecting uh, out of a guitar like this. The neck pickup, though, um, yeah, perfect uh, stratty neck single coil sound, you know, that... that just sounds like you expect it to do you know that sort of uh, juicy fruity um you know kind of texas blues kind of sound that um is associated with you know that the strat neck single coil you could easily i mean play a little wing or shine on your crazy diamond on that and it would sound perfect all day long in terms of how the guitar uh feels and plays it is beautifully turned out let me just turn the camera down here so you can see um me holding the guitar the neck is really like properly comfortable um just a happy medium neck with uh i'm not sure what the uh the fretboard radius is but you can check that out in the spec down below in the description but it's got a nice kind of modern feel to it um in terms of just the, the feel of it. I would say think uh, like a made in Mexico Fender or something like that, but without the cheese grater sharp fret ends that I've experienced on quite a few of uh, those guitars of late. Um, fit and finish, absolutely gorgeous. You know, minimal. When you when you do something minimalist like this, you've got to um, you know get it right because any any flaw is going to stand out. You know, like a sore thumb. But you know, everything here is just you know perfectly finished really um I, if i'm being picky uh i would prefer a transparent finish on this if you stare at it closely for you know long enough you can just about detect some of the wood grain under the finish uh, it is a nice satin finish uh, both on the body and the neck i would have just preferred it to be a little bit more transparent and um you know showing off the uh, the timber a little bit more Plays nice, sounds good, and um, I can't remember how much these things cost, but I'll look it up and uh, put it up on screen. Uh, you know, after I've finished editing the video. So, but you know, it's a vintage. It's not going to be uh, any kind of price that breaks the bank. So. Great little uh, Telecaster with a couple of extra tricks up its sleeve. Just be aware of that caveat that I don't think the humbucker sound really does do a humbucker sound. It's it's just more of a single coil with the neck, with, with the tone control rolled off a little bit, which, you know, that's why guitars have tone controls, so you can do that. I don't really see the point of having that as a separate position on the selector switch, but you may feel entirely different, of course. Um, I'll guarantee if you pick one of these guitars up, you're going to have a good time playing it. It's a comfortable, well put together, good sounding guitar, and it doesn't cost the earth. So on that um, basis, I would say it's well worth checking one out. So there you go, folks. That is the... Uh, 
Vintage V58JD Jerry Donahue uh, signature model. Um, let me know what you think of the guitar down in the comments. But for now, I'll bid you all a good day and say thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your time. Don't forget the live stream tomorrow, Friday, 5 p.m. UK time, where we sit and drink beer and talk about guitars and stuff. Great way to kick off the weekend. I'd love to see you there if, if you can make it. But for now, uh, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your time. Look after yourselves, folks. Stay well. Stay safe. And above all, stay sane. Bye for now.